David in opposition in response to the South Dai MP's application, the Attorney General, represented by a principal state attorney, George Tetesaki, indicated that due to the two cases pending before the Supreme Court for determination, the Speaker and the President are unable to proceed. The document also noted that the High Court will be prejudicing the ability of the Supreme Court to effectively adjudicate the merits of the two cases, which it is seized off if it proceeds to determine the instant suit. Ni Papu Samoa Adu, lead counsel for South Dai Member of Parliament, Roxon Nelson Defemepo, therefore pray the court to adjourn the case to allow them file documents in response to the AG's opposition. Presiding Judge Ellen Mriku adjourned the case to April 29. Ni Papu Samoa Adu spoke to the media following the hearing. Parliament has responded to the letter from the uh, Office of the President. And in our opinion, that even strengthens our point that without the intervention of the court, nothing would go on. Attorney General who had indicated at our last sitting that they were not going to file an affidavit in opposition, but were going to come and argue on points of law, have now filed a formal affidavit in opposition and their statement of case. So we're served in the court. So we had a look at it, and we believe that there are a few points that we want to um, deal with. MP for South Dai, Roxanne Nelson Dafemepo, is seeking a declaration that Parliament of Ghana complied with all the constitutional provisions in the passage of the anti-LGBTQ bill. An order of mandamus directed at the Speaker of Parliament to present the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill to the President. An order directed at the President to assent or otherwise to the bill within seven days. Lord Dwasari, TV3 News, Accra.